Hey guys, how's it going? It's X six 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 X Iron Maiden. Today we're back with one of our two last Nightwish videos. That's right, this one and tomorrow will be the last two, and then we switch to a Mono Uh So today we're checking out Nemo uh, live at Vakin two thousand thirteen. Alright, so, I'm pretty sure uh, with this one, we never did a reaction to the actual song off the studio album, and that is because uh, I am familiar with this song, but you guys still wanted to hear it. So, I'd made the decision to finally throw it on the list um, as the live version from Vakken, because I haven't heard that version. Uh, it's also... Obviously not the same singer because I heard the studio version. So uh, today we're going to be checking that one out. So let's jump in and do this one. Obviously a super popular song. I told you guys sometimes leave some good ones to the end. Surprisingly, like it's it's kind of similar to the original. Like they kind of have like that same feel with their with the way they cho chose to sing it. Just obviously, the operatics are definitely toned down big time. I'm always doing like this uh, twist with the stick pretty much like in between each one of those there. Even if you're good at it, it's still brave to do it that often because you drop the stick, you gotta get a new one, you can mess up the beat with that. We get the solo is one of our last two, which we don't get to do often, and I always love hearing him do the solo. Even if it's short. You hear the vibrato on that one? Ooh. Beautiful touch. All the way from the high, just cleanly down to a low. Thank you for giving us such emotions. See how much security I had to move around on this song? Everyone's crowd surfing.
nice. I like how, I like how it slightly changed the song live to just be more epic. It's more epic live than it is on the album. Sweet. All right. I'm so glad that we uh, we had this one to as one of the last two because that's such a special fucking moment, man. You can tell like for for uh, for that crowd that was like an epic song for them to see. Whew. It's hard to believe we're already at the last one, which I am recording on the same day for me. So today, like I'm going into recording knowing that it's my last two. Uh, that was the daily band for Nightwish, obviously. Um, there's gonna be more Nightwish. There's not. I haven't covered every everything. Uh, there's some more obscure stuff too, and uh, we have Tear It on the list as well, uh, and stuff like that to check out. So it's definitely not the end of Nightwish related or Nightwish directly stuff. Plus the new album at some point or live DVD is supposed to come out too. Uh, so there'll be more stuff to see uh, in the future anyway, mixed out throughout the channel. Uh, as for if I want to go into, oh, excuse me, more detail about this song, um, I just always liked Nemo. Like, I, I always thought, like, it's more, uh, commercial, I guess you could say. It's, obviously, it was made to be, it's catchy, it's super catchy, like, I mean, it's easy to get into, even if you're not into, like, symphonic metal, per se. But, uh, man, it's, it's quite a song, like, especially live here, like, the energy you get from that song. It's pretty nuts. Like you, sh you, you would get into it if you were live playing in front of you. Even if you're not a huge fan of the song, I feel like you would get into it if you just saw that live in front of you. And I thought she did a killer job on her version of it here, uh, compared to the studio album. I thought it was pretty, uh, pretty similar to like the studio album. Like in the way that she started off. It's only at the end where you know they obviously extended some bits and changed up a little bit. Where she started to change it up too, where it became a little bit different and went more into her style of. Uh, you know, adding on her own, her own vocal little twists here and there, where it really showed as like, you know, their their newer version of Nightwish with a different singer. You know, so it was really cool. It was really cool. I really enjoyed that, and uh, hopefully uh, you guys did too. I know you guys will. It's Nemo. Only. It's a Vakin. You know, like it's gonna be a great video. So. Uh, Obviously, uh, if you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I would say to catch more Nightwish, but you only get one more day. So uh, make sure you go back if you're a new subscriber and want to see all the reactions. There's like a we have like a hundred, almost 120 Nightwish reactions now. So if you're new to the channel, I haven't seen any of my stuff before for Nightwish. You got plenty, plenty of stuff to check out. Uh, and yeah, step by tomorrow if you want to see our last. Daily Nightwish, and of course, the top 10 songs from Nightwish will be a video later on. Um, as usual, it can take up to two, three weeks before I can put out that video because I really take time to think about it. So, uh, in this one, I'll also be trying to pick like my my the singers, uh, my favorite out of them, just as like a bonus kind of thing, um, and reasons why. Uh, just because I know it's a it's a it's a thing with the group. Um, but truthfully, I enjoy all three singers, so that one's also going to be a hard one, too. But I do have, I think I already do have, like, that list in my head, and for obvious reasons I've talked about, if you guys have been watching all the Nightwish videos, you can probably guess in what, you can, you can, you know what the number one spot is, but some of you might be surprised by the, 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 the second one, even by watching the videos, like, where I put that at. So, anyway, that's it for today, so, if, if you, again... Make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, you guys have a good one. And I'll catch you later.